Hello, and welcome to the TI Precision Lab series on current sense amplifiers. My name is Kyle Stone, and I am a product marketing engineer in the current and position sensing product line. In this video, we will take a closer look at output swing limitations. Output swing is a common electrical specification found in the datasheet of a typical current sense amplifier, or CSA for short. There are usually two parameters listed to describe a device's swing to rail characteristics. The first is swing to power supply, or swing to VS, and the second is swing to ground. These specifications are found in the electrical characteristics table. Often, output swing versus output current is provided in the form of a set of curves in the typical characteristic section of the datasheet. More information can be derived from this graph, such as current capability of the output stage and its behavior over temperature. In addition to common output swing parameters shown in the previous slide, the INA190 datasheet also provides a parameter called zero current output voltage in its spec table. The parameter is identical to swing to ground except that the input differential overdrive is set to zero millivolts. In other words, there is no input overdrive. The INA190 datasheet also provides two plots of the output swing versus output current. These are for two different supply voltages respectively. Sometimes all of these curves can be combined into a single plot if it is practical to do so. These are some of the different formats in presenting a device's output swing specifications. Output swing defines how close the current sense amplifier output can be driven to either the power supply or ground under specified operating conditions. This relationship is easily demonstrated with an input output curve. Such relationship is shown for a unidirectional CSA and a bidirectional CSA. Ideally, the CSA output should only be limited by ground and the power supply. In between these extremes, the output should vary linearly with input. In other words, the entire range of ground to VS should be usable and linear. The black line shows this desired behavior. An actual CSA output typically has an output that is slightly below Vs and slightly above ground. In between is a linear section with curved edges, as the red line shows. It is exaggerated in order to show the swing limits. In order for a CSA output to be able to support a certain input range, the following set of equations must be true. 1. V in minimum minus VOS times gain is greater than swing to ground, and 2. V in max plus VOS multiplied by gain is less than swing to VS. The VOS term in these equations can be omitted if they are much smaller compared to the input voltage terms. The datasheet may not explicitly say it, but we always make sure the output is within the range of swing. Otherwise, the calculation and design may not be valid. More on this later with an example. It should also be noted that the swing to VS and swing to ground are normally obtained with some input overdrive. Therefore, the range of swing includes both linear output region and nonlinear region. It is a good idea to refer to other parameters for linear output range. For example, in this datasheet, the gain error spec 
tells us the output is guaranteed to be linear in the range of 100 millivolts above ground and 100 millivolts below Vs. Let's look at an example how to quickly select the right current sense amplifier by applying the swing to rails as a criterion. In this example, we have Vs equals 5 volts, gain equals 50. The min and max input voltages are 0 0.5 millivolts and 95 millivolts respectively. We want to see if the INA 282 can work from the perspective of output swing. From the data sheet, we calculate the swing range to be 40 millivolts to 4.6 volts. Using the min and max output equations from the previous slide, we get the required lowest output voltage level is below the swing to ground spec, and the required highest output voltage level is above the swing to VS spec. Therefore, in this example, both swing specs will be violated. We can draw the conclusion that the INA282 will not satisfy the swing requirement of this application. How do we make it work? There are two possible ways to this approach. First, you can adjust the requirement and measurement range. Second, you can select a different device with a better swing to rail spec. Let's take a look at the same example we looked at previously, but substitute with a device that has an improved swing to rail specification the INA190. Everything being equal, the only difference is the swing to rail specification. As you can see, in this case, both swing test equations are true with sufficient headroom. The takeaway from this example is that, in general, a device with a wider output swing can accommodate a wider input voltage range. We next look at an overcurrent protection design with the INA303. In this example, we wish to set the limit resistor for a given current threshold. In the INA303 datasheet, the equation is provided and the calculation is straightforward. Substituting the numbers into the equation, we can see that the resulting limit resistor value is 75 kilo ohms. However, if this design is implemented, it will not work because the output at the desired trip level is beyond the power supply. The point to note is that we must check to make sure output is within the swing specification at all times. And remember, this is a necessary condition in order for the circuit to function correctly. Let's take a minute to summarize what we learned in this video. One, swing to rail defines how close the current sense amplifier output can be driven to either the power supply or ground under specified operating conditions. Two, Device output must fall within swing to rail specifications at all times. It is a necessary condition in order for the circuit to function correctly. Three, even though the swing range does not equal to the linear output range, the wider swing range generally means wider linear range. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching. Please try the quiz to check your understanding of the content. For more information and videos on current sense amplifiers, please visit ti.com forward slash current sense.